All right, so today, Professor Robert from the Gracie Baja Jiu Jitsu Academy, where Dominic and I train, is joining us to give me yet another lesson, this time not in Jiu Jitsu, but in grilling and in smoking, because it turns out he's also a competitive barbecuer. Is that what you would call it? I think so. Yeah, well, you Smoker, do. Smoker, barbecuer. You do competitive barbecue. He Pretty does competitive barbecue. barbecues. Yes. So the dude rolls with Jiu Jitsu and then rolls on the grill. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. And he's a dad. And he's a dad, and hence the two, dads two in the kids. kitchen. That's right, yep. two kids, two exactly. Kids. But I had no idea you do things other than just throw it on the grill, throw some beer on it, and there it's it. <laughs> Not exactly, no. What do you got planned for us today? I'm doing pork ribs, and, and we're gonna kind of go over like what barbecue is. So essentially, the difference between grilling and barbecuing is what? Temperature. Low and slow, you're smoking something. Below 300, right? When you grill something, it's four or five hundred. Barbecue, low and slow. Right. Grilling is hot and fast. One's like a marriage, the other one's like spring break. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Got it, got it, got Very it. It'll, it'll stay now, I yeah. got it. Wood, in some cases, you're using as a heat, but I tend to keep the, the, the wood for flavoring. So this is apple and hickory, and you can actually take your nose in there and you can kind of smell. These are chunks. Your nose in there. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. smell it. You should, oh, yeah. Sometimes you're more fruity. Um, Otherwise, it's, it does like a trick. You can have something that is a $20,000 rig, a fantastic smoking rig. You can also get it done with a shopping cart and two cinder blocks. That's if what we're talking That's what we're talking about. We're, talking. we're the on. shopping block, two cinder <laughs> yeah. blocks Correct. crew yes. right here. Okay, great. By the way, um, just so I know, where do you buy this? So to get the wood. Home Depot has it, Lowe's has it. There's a company out there called Fruita that I get my stuff from. And actually, it's actually shipped in and delivered in. Um, and it comes in different sizes too, because you want to smoke it. You don't want to burn it. And that's kind of one of the big differences too between drilling and smoking. You want to get the chemicals in here out, which looks like smoke. That's what we call smoking, right? Okay. Here's the thing though, if you're doing it right, you won't see it. You won't see smoke, or it'll look kind of bluish. If you see white smoke billowing out, you're burning it for fuel. Is there a difference if you're smoking or grilling? Um, is there one that you should use over the other? Yeah, um, like I said, the most tougher cuts of meat, like brisket, is really tough. Por uh, beef ribs can be really tough. You wouldn't grill these because they're also huge chunks of meat. And by the time you cooked the center of it, you would have charred the outside. Killed the yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So those ones you want to smoke yes. low and slow. Exactly. Yeah. What kind of meat would be a grill? For grilling, mostly your normal steaks. Porterhouse, T-bone, um, New York strip, ribeyes. Carne asada. Carne asada. Carne asada. It's thin, yeah. really quick, then done. When we, when we make steaks, it's, it's six minutes. All right, Professor Robert, we're going to be your guinea pigs today. We are going to get down on whatever you make. If you need any assistance, we're also your sous chef, so let us know. <laughs> All right, well, we got some ribs to make. Them. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So you take the rib out um, and kind of quick, give it a quick rinse and make sure that it smells good. If anything smells off, ditch it. It's not worth having, right? Um, then you flip it over on the back. There should be a membrane. Use like a butter knife. You're going to kind of like get underneath that and a paper towel, actually, and you'll be able to tear this whole membrane off. And what that does is it's more of like, it's an inedible connective tissue that keeps the whole rib together. You know, once that's gone, you're pretty much done. Trim off any excess fat, something that doesn't look right, just lock and knock it off. And then we put the rub on. This is sugar, chili, paprika, some, um, Ooh, smells good. yeah, go ahead and taste it. Garlic, granulated garlic. Mm, good. Then I'm gonna do something else here. Is that just straight salt? salt? No. Oh. What is that? So you remember the taste of it before, oh, right? Yes, mm. yes. Science class. Okay. Now Sugar? taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if it tastes any different to you. It does. It should be at the end. What is it? MSG. What is it? MSG? What? It's pure MSG. Why do we want to put that? I thought that's what you tried to I avoid. I thought it was bad for you. Yeah. That, that's, that's not true. That's not <laughs> you, feel, you taste the difference, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. A legit it changed it, yes. It, it changes yes. it a lot. Yeah. For this whole thing, I just put in like a little bit of MSG. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. So can you go to a store and buy a package of umami? Yes. Really? You can buy MSG. If you look in the spices section, <laughs> it's called accent. So rub, you just put it on there until it's opaque, so you can't see it. Pat it down a little bit, flip it over, do the other side, and let it rest an hour inside the fridge. And how long does it take typically, like if you want to smoke them, like what are we looking at? Yeah, hours it's like a wise. process, right? Yeah, ribs are about six hours. Six hours. Oh. Okay, so what are we gonna do for six hours? So 
right here. These are done, pretty much, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slice open the foil and probably slide them out onto the grate and then put them back in for just to firm up the uh, bark on top of them. Those look really good. Yeah, so these are done. Uh, they're done as far as tender-wise. Um, this one's actually, uh, yeah, these are both. Cool. So yeah, the that. skewer goes right in, and uh, most of the bone here, the meat's pulled away. You can't even see the bone on that one. It's on this side. Wow. Yeah, they're all out over here. So these are pretty much ready to eat, except you can see because we foil them, the bark is a little bit mushy, like it's a little bit wet. Okay. A couple minutes in there, it'll it'll dry all that out, firm it all back up. So you're gonna throw it back in there? Just for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just to finish no it off. No foil. No foil. They're just naked in there. They're gonna go ahead and firm up and uh, dry out a little bit. Throw them in there naked. Naked. And then naked. And right on. Like how you sleep? Naked and afraid. <laughs> Baby back, which are smaller, they're called baby back, and they're higher up on the back. A little bit more meat on top, whereas the St. Louis are more even and straighter bones. Because this is thinner, do you have to cook this for less time? Yes. Or? Not really. really. They tend to be just about the same no matter what. They look um, delicious, but see, this one's a little puffy. That's why baby got back. <laughs> baby right? got back. <laughs> so, these are done. Well, let's get in there. Let's get into it. And you, what, yes. about, what about sauces? How do you feel about certain sauces? Sauces. Oh, um, those look amazing. It depends. A sauce should always complement. So I have my own sauce oh, well, up there. Oh, let's get in there. But I think is that it a you ought to. Sauce? Is it, a... it is. It's a, it's more of a Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Okay. Uh, but eat it without the sauce first. Look at this. It might be a this little bit a more done. Looking, look at this. Is a good looking rib right here. You should pull away. Go ahead. Oh my god. Oh my god. It should be good. Oh my god. <laughs> Black belt and barbecue. Silly as this sounds, I love eating with my hands. Mm-hmm. I love not having to use oh. utensils. I love eating with my hands. I love getting in on the bone. Ah, you know? You clean your teeth with it. Sharpen your teeth, clean your grill. So this awesome. is the baby bag. A little bit, little bit more done than I'd prefer. But um, see the top meat there? Most barbecue. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. great. Professor Robert, thank you for the uh, barbecue slash smoker mm -hmm. lesson. This is awesome. I had no idea all that went into it, but um, we, we got to practice, man. We got to practice. Thank you. Y'all got to look come into back. how to do this. Because yeah, this, this is, is next level. Unbelievable. This is next level. It's not just about throwing it on there, but please, oh uh, we're going to throw the recipe up on the how-to. Let us know what you think. It's not that hard. We just got to pay attention and follow the steps. Yeah. Dad's in the kitchen. Love Family Channel. Thank you so much. Please subscribe.